and welcome back again in another cool video and another cool request someone requested last uh, last night uh, an LS V12 I mean that is a weird idea because the LS is a V8 engine and I have all the spec sheet for it but uh, I'm gonna try copying them to make the V12 uh, for it I mean yes, it's a, it's a weird request, but it's it's cool, it's awesome, I mean V12s are awesome and they are smooth, they produce uh, more torque and they are more complex and um, I love V12s, they are just awesome. But an LS V12, I think he meant when he said LS V12, uh, V12 he meant uh, that he wanted, he, he wanted a, an overhead valve system not a single overhead valve or a dual overhead camshaft on it he wants an overhead valve system you know all right so i'm gonna copy all these specs for the ls1 and make a v12 of course the v12 will be more bigger more huge if i if i use the same bore and stroke and i will use them so a vcv uh, 60 degrees 12 of course uh, now the LS1 is all alumin alumin aluminum or aluminum as someone would say it uh, uh, block and engine and head so I'm gonna use alum aluminum or aluminum as, as someone will say it so and let's use let's use the same bore and stroke uh, as it's, as the spec sheet said he says here we have 99 99 99 millimeters bore and the stroke is 92 so yes this engine will be huge yes it will be 8.5 liter v12 the ls1 should be around 5.6 or 5.7 liter but, uh, if, well, but but here I use the same bore and the same stroke of the LS1 and now we have 8.5 liter so yes the engine will be humongous and the it will produce so much power so much torque even in naturally aspirated spec so overhead valve of course as the LS1 aluminium again or aluminium as would someone will say it let's use the cast 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 for a start plus five and the it has a 10.921 compression ratio and 50 start with 50 no variable valve timing of course plus five naturally aspirated injection multi-point single standard or performance let's stick with standard for now because the because the LS1 has a, I mean yes, you, th you think the LS1 has a performance intake manifold, but no, actually it uses a regular intake manifold from the GM, from GM spec intake manifold. I mean it's good, it's good, it produces so much power, it produces so much torque, it's reliable, so yes, a standard one will do just fine. 91 octane fuel, or oh, let's stick with 95 for now, 13 and a half. Ignition timing, let's stick it to 40 as a start. Since this engine is huge and 8, 8 liter, I'm gonna stick with 5500 and plus 5. Then short cast, dual exhaust. I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess 700. 3 way, yes, 3 way, it's enough. Reverse flow, straight through, and plus 5. So my guess were wrong, it's, all, it's only 500. Mm -hmm. So 500 horsepower. Okay, now we are using 93.8. So let's hit it more. Yes, now we have. Mm -hmm. So that's. I don't want. I don't want to lose torque. So yes, set 53. We can go to 6000, which is good. We can hit it with more ignition. Let's hear it.
So this engine is good. Look at it. Look at the torque figure. 590 pound pound feet of torque. 593 horsepower, which is which which, which is amazing. Look, 590, 590. Basically the same. Not basically the same. No, but I, I love when um, when the torque for, torque number and the power number are so similar. I love it when the engine is like this. 590, 590. I think this is the perfect combination. So, do you think we should use a int uh, performance intake? A little bit of gain. Twin, not much. Throttle per cylinder. No, I'm gonna look. If you if you switch from single to a throttle per cylinder, look at look at the torque. The torque is 590. Now it's 580. You, you will lose torque, but you will gain more horsepower. You can you will gain five horsepower only and lose 20 pound feet. No, so single is, is as I said before, it, it's better. 6100, 6200. Yes, you can go to 6200 and gain 600 horsepower. So let's see if I used straight through. I'm gonna lose torque. I know I don't want to lose torque. No difference in here. No. So tubular engine, long or racing. Let's lose. Let you. Let's use your long tubular or just. Uh, no, I want the engine to be. Uh, okay, long tubular. It will. It will. It will looks better too. Yes. Now the engine looks humongous. The engine looks 640 horsepower. I don't want to push more fuel because 13 and a half is just just enough. And here. Yes. So twin standard. Yes, now it looks No, I don't want now it looks like a Mercedes V8. Yes, looks like a very Mercedes V8. V12, so not V8. Damn, I always, I always say the wrong word. Now look, now it looks like a V12 Mercedes. <sighs> what do you think, guys? Should I keep it sporty or, or should I push it more? No, let's keep it sporty. I don't want to push it too much. Even the exhaust. Okay, I want to keep it. I want to keep it cast. Yes, I want to keep it cheap. Cheaply and happy. No need to go harder. 592. Yes, we gain more torque. And now we can push a little bit timing. Yes! 608 horsepower. 594 pound feet of torque. This engine is good right now. Let's listen to it. Check that out, mates. Check that out. At idle, the engine is idling and it's producing 354 pound feet at idle at 700 RPM. So, when the car is stationary and the AC is on, the engine is producing 354 pound feet. Wow. At idle, the end, the, this car, at, at idle, if this engine was in a car, this car will be able to tow something behind it. 300 pound feet. Wow. And 47 horsepower at idle at 700 RPM. Have you seen this this smoothness? 80%. Wow, I just uh, noticed it. 80% smoothness. So the engine is so smooth. 
no shaking, no va no any no vibration, nothing. Wow, I like that. Smooth. M V V twelves are smooth so smooth. They're so smooth, yeah. So, do you like it guys? Is it perfect for you my friend? The man that requested the LS1 V12? Or should I keep it only 5.7 meter? I mean, I used all the original specs. I used the same bore and stroke. I used the same head and valve, the same materials, the same compression ratio, the same, um, the same uh, fuel system. Same fuel actually and and uh, at, at, at 6200 RPM, it's also pretty much the same, but the V12, as I said before, at the, the same board and stroke will be huge, like, like a dual V12, like a dual V8, as you can see here. If you can, if you can slide it, it will be dual V6s. Right. Yes, if you can draw a line here, you can see a V6 here and a V6 there. I mean, pretty much simple idea, just get two V6 and, and smack them together. So, thank you so much guys for watching, thank you so much for, the, for your cool request. If you have uh, any comment on it, guys, just feel free and comment whatever you wanted to say and on the, in, the, in the comment section and I will reply for it. Thank you so much guys, if you liked this video, please hit that, hit that like button. If you didn't like it, no problem, you can hit the dislike button if you want. Uh, and please, if you are not a if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe and enjoy more cool videos like these. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I will see you in another cool request or another video. Bye bye.